ex-guest jamming with the boss, Eddie Mannion on sax, on tour with Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. While you may know him for touring with big bands like The Boss, you may not know that Eddie actually lives right here in our area. And we're happy to welcome Eddie Mannion to PTL this morning to tell us about life on the road and a big show he has coming up here at home. Good That's morning. That's right, yeah. Living in uh, Seven Fields, uh, Pennsylvania. That's great. And uh, been here since uh, about 2009 and uh, doing the show in Zillian Opal, PA. At, at the, the Strand Theater. Strand, Strand Theater, yes. So tell us about that February show February 24th. Up. Uh, it's going to be a great show. Uh, Joe Grishecki, good friend of mine, a great songwriter. Mm -hmm. uh, Joe and I will uh, open the show with an acoustic uh, set, um, sax and guitar. We'll do about 40 minutes and then two hours of uh, a full ensemble. About 10 musicians, some of Pittsburgh's finest uh, jazz, rock, and blues musicians. Uh, Mark Strickland on guitar, Danny Gotzner on guitar. Fantastic. Uh, Jason Raffalak, uh, George Pirelli, Pete Freeman, Rick Gallagher. Um, just uh, amazing. I've been very lucky to move to Pittsburgh and meet some fantastic musicians. Well, I was going to ask you about that because you, yeah. you toured the world. You've been all over the place. So what is it like to be here in Pittsburgh? What's the music scene really like as a musician? It's a... a a fantastic uh, music scene. Uh, like I said, I'm very fortunate. Uh, moved here. I uh, recorded my album at a great studio called Audible Images mm -hmm. uh, on Babcock Road, and uh, and uh, met a lot of a lot of great musicians. Uh, used on my record Nightlife, um, a piano player in particular, Brett Williams. He's 23 years old, mm -hmm. uh, um, graduated from Duquesne University, and. Uh, just an amazing piano player, and I was fortunate to have Brett and many other musicians. So, I think a lot of people at home want to know about the first time you got the call from the boss. How does that work? Is it first like agent time. to agent, or like how does that work? Do you, I think does he, he, actually, actually, he actually called me twice in personally? my life. Personally? Oh, really? But yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, once I answered in 1988, right before the uh, Ton of Love tour we did uh, with Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, and the uh, phone rang, I answered. Uh, Oh, hey, this is a uh, Bruce. Uh, oh, how you doing? <laughs> oh, uh, hey, Bruce. Well, we're going how are on you? tour, and uh, love to have you. So, you That's know. Awesome. I read one of the highlights of your career, according to you, was being asked to uh, write the horn arrangements for Bruce and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame 25th anniversary show. That yeah, had that was incredible. A tremendous show with Sam Moore and uh, uh, Darlene Love, um, uh, John Fogarty, Billy Joel. Um, and uh, it was a 25th anniversary show for Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was a real challenge to uh, put, that, put that all together. So you got your saxophone when you were 10 years old? When I was 10, yes. My mom bought me a saxophone after expressing interest in... Uh, and the rest is history, huh? Ju junior high school band. And uh, the Beatles came out in 1964. I think I was 12. <laughs> and uh, and uh, I've been been playing in bands ever since. Where do you draw your inspiration for your music? I, it's hard to figure out. I, you know, my one of my last shows in New Jersey, uh, a lady came to my show, and she actually was my babysitter when I <laughs> when I was like uh, when I was nine years old, uh, 1959, and she brought two albums: uh, Sandman Taylor. Uh, Blue Mist and more Blue Mist, and they were LPs. Uh, and Sandman Tower is just uh, a tremendous influence, inspiration. Um, and uh, I was playing the song Harlem Nocturne, which I'll be playing at my show February okay, 24th. Right. And uh, she came and she said, um, I have to tell you, when I was your babysitter, when you were seven years old, there was only one thing that would calm you down. There was only one thing that would put you to sleep, and she would play Sandman Taylor records, and somehow that that calmed me down. And uh, so maybe, maybe that's, that's where it came from. Maybe, yeah. So yeah. what are you going to play for us today? We're going to play. I'm going to play a Town Without Pity from my album Nightlife, and uh, it's a song uh, released by Gene Pitney in uh, 1961, I believe. Right. And it was from the movie Town Without Pity. Uh, Dimitri uh, Tomkin wrote the, wrote the music, and he was a famous uh, film score uh, composer, uh, wrote a lot of Western themes, and, and uh, Town Without Pity. Yeah. Okay, great, let's hear it. Mm.
Ryan. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, that's, like, that's like being in the studio. Right. <laughs> that is amazing. <sighs> so you did, uh, while well, you get a drink of water, you did tell us a little bit about who your guest stars are going to be. What can folks expect if they're coming to the Strand Theater? Uh -huh. What kind of songs? What's the lineup? Uh, they can expect... Uh, uh, kind of takes the wind out of you, huh? Yeah, it does. Uh, <laughs> a little bit. I bet. Uh, we, we'll be doing a lot of uh, some jazz standards, stuff like uh, uh, When Sunny Gets Blue. Right. Um, we'll do uh, Shatter Your Smile. Great. Um, and Town Without Pity. Uh, and Change Is Gonna Come by the great Sam Cooke. Uh, Sounds like a fantastic lineup. Yeah. Well, thank you so, so much. Thank you for coming in this morning. Thank you so much. Sorry I'm so out of breath. No, no, of course you are. And you are going to play for and us again. And it's Eddie Mannion. Not, Eddie Mannion. Not Eddie Mannion. Oh. Is that what Ron Smiley <laughs> said to you? Ron, uh, well. That Ron Smiley. Okay, well, come here, Eddie Mannion, live on stage at the Strand Theater. He'll be there on February 24th with special guests Joe Grishecki and Jeff Levine. Whether you've seen him there before or if it'll be your first time, it's a concert that you don't want to miss. Get all all the details on the Strand website. Look for the link at kdk.com slash PTL and stay with us because we are going to hear more from Eddie ahead this hour. A favorite, Amazing Grace.